Hello again, fellow Gears. <laughs> What's up? It's Maticon bringing you another Gears 5 video. This one is a speed run on the map checkout. I just need to mention that this run is a bit sweaty to set up, but once set up, it's a lot of fun and fast. We go into this run with a mechanic and four other DPS classes you want to bring, but we like having a technician, demolitions, and infiltrator, and whatever else you want to bring. There is only one required stationary spot for this run, which is the platform near checkout. Everyone else is a free floater. While this loads up, we need to quickly say thank you to the following people, which are Grizz, Morse, Hitman, Schwazi, Slaughter, Still, Wicked Truth, Punisher, and Sniperman for your help in getting this footage. But with all of that said, let's do this. All right, uh, here we go. So this first spawn here is well, you will get uh, a lot of enemies spawn. And this is, of course, on the pharmacy side of things. Now, on the opposite versus spawn, you're going to get spawned there as well at the home goods location. And we're almost there. Here we go. I'm going to spawn right through here as well. Now, with those two spawns, this is where we like to have a tactician and demolitions classes. Um, basically, they, they come up here on this uh, checkout platform, and they're shooting booms and uh, salvos or even drop shots into this, each spawn there. Uh, that was home goods, and the same thing over here with pharmacy. Booms, salvos, drop shots, whatever really suits your fancy. Alright, and this platform is the one required... DPS spot. You just need one person here to stop spawn from the platform, which is <laughs> very easy to do because uh, you're both shooting in spawns there. So now there is this checkout spawn here as well. It's not usually as heavy as the versus spawns um, on most waves. So your third DPS, you're going to be shooting into the checkout, which they can be here or of course they can be down here. Whatever suits your fancy uh, doesn't particularly matter one way or the other. And then when they're done shooting the checkout, they can basically turn and just help the other DPS or shoot into the versus spawns. Now, one thing on the checkout to note is that on boss waves, um, what you're going to want to do is put grenades or fortification right here. Because you want to push the carrier snatcher spawn mac from spawning in the checkout because it's too easy for them to take down your guys on the platform. Pushing the boss out to the versus spawns where I just shot. That is what you want to do so the boss does not spawn here. Now, when we first set this up, we usually will get a few barriers there for checkout. And then for the versus spawns, we'll usually, you're going to get one barrier here. And then, of course, oh, yeah. to the barrier over here. And the same thing is duplicated on the home good side with those two barriers and then once that's set up we get some lockers for your DPSers of course now uh, there is a two week overflow spawns that you do need to block um, at some point this is one of them uh, I want to put the hair right by that green kind of X right there and we just usually just to stick a sentry there just to shoot into the spawn and it's also mirrored over here essentially on this metal plate you want to put a fortification or again a sentry works very well so therefore it uh is shooting into the versus spawn as well so sentries on each spawn shooting for that weak overflow works well and now there is a fluke spawn once or twice a game you might get an enemy right there in the boxes and then you might get one here by the couch once or twice a game. It's not difficult to deal with those, though. Now, watch out on Juvies, because Juvies will like to hop up over the wall, and they'll snatch you up real quick. So when you are dealing with Juvies, be extra mindful not to let them get on that wall and kill you. <laughs> I will go ahead now and show you the Fabricator location. It is not a super picky fab spot, so... What you want to do is you want to line it up here 
in between, center it between these two kind of shelf pillars here. Just drop it about there and right in between there and there, center it, and you should be good to go. But with that, that's the basic setup of the checkout speedrun tutorial, and uh, we have gameplay footage and everything for you. Uh, coming right up. Now here I'm showing you both the mechanic and myself as DPS sitting in the checkout spawn. And what this is doing is it's pushing the spawn out just the main T-Versus spawn, which you know makes this a little easier to get set up and everything, knowing you just have the T-Versus spawn coming at you um, here on the early ways while you get set up. And then also, you want to watch out for these Jews because they will hop over this wall and get you really good in the seat, so keep an eye out, kill them ASAP. And here I'm just showcasing uh, whether you're a tactician or demolitions, shooting into the pharmacy spawn. Really simple from this angle. If you're a salvo fan, then this speedrun is definitely for you. Definitely will enjoy it. And then here on the other side where home kids is, same thing if you have your demolitions or tactician class, shooting salvos into the spawn. You can also shoot booms if you want until you get salvos. Um, they both work very, very well. And then here you're going to see a couple enemies there on the left side trying to get out of the spawn. And that is not permitted. <laughs> so they're going to die here as so. And then this is just a clip of the checkout spawn with whatever third DPS class you bring. As you can see, it's pretty easy and to manage there's not a ton of spawn here usually so you're good all right and here i'm showing you uh the tactician class and using his resupply amplifier skill card and as you can see the circle is definitely big enough once leveled up to cover all three dps here on the platform no problem and here's how you get a locker on top of the platform you go up to it glitch it out hop up on the platform grab it and you're good to go. And this next clip, you're going to see this DB spawns by that couch as an odd spawn. But as you can see, it's once or twice a game-ish. Very easy to manage and deal with, no problem. Here is that spawn blocking weak overflow spot on the home goods side. Just put a sentry there to block it so it also will shoot into the main spawn as well. Double purpose. And here is the same sentry on the pharmacy side. Now this is a little more picky to get right, but basically you just want to make sure that you get this leg of the sentry really close to that little green line there. Um, on the timer that I'm shooting right now, uh, if you line it up to there, you should be very far blocking that recoil. Now before we get into the engineering of this run, I need to briefly mention that usually when I play a mechanic, I don't usually use and equip the reinforced fabrication skill card on my runs. But for this speedrun, I do feel it does warrant equipping it, and it's very useful to have because of the high amount of damage the fortifications can sometimes receive on this particular setup, especially by the DPS platform. And here is just your quick setup of your pharmacy. Uh, we have one sentry covering the back or right side, and then we have these two barriers. So obviously we start out with one, and then as the game progresses, we level them up to and double them up to two, of course. And then you're going to see that spawn blocking sentry that also again shoots in the main spawn as well double purpose and then here is the home grid side of the engineering setup now these two barriers are pushed forward a little bit so salvos don't hit into them if they're pushed back it's a little easier on the dps class another couple barriers and then sentry right here on the back side covering that so essentially two sentries on each spawn very easy very simple to maintain and then last but not least here's just the easy checkout you see the decoy um, you got three barriers and a couple centuries for the checkout spawn not very difficult at all very easy for sure and here i'm just showing you the infiltrator class as far as um their long reach how easy it is to pick up power um and definitely get their perk speed up to 10 as soon as possible but you can see you know you run through all the three spawns you get the power um in turn that lets you make the run go quicker because you're, you're easier to skip waves um everything is just better and she's also multitasker you know she can pick up 
power from taps. She can help DPS where needed if it gets backed up. So she really is the true worker on this map. And here we go. Here's a boss wave 50 for you from the platform here. And as we always will say, you know, you see this engineering setup and see how we do this. You know, put your own spin on it. Make it yours. Always make it better because we always encourage um, and love to see new ideas and great things. That's for sure. But with that, that concludes this checkout speedrun tutorial. It is a fun, unique, but different run. Fast. And as always, enjoyed everybody. Thank you.